Now at seven, disturbing video showing a woman being carjacked by a masked man holding a long gun right in the middle of the day. The scary situation happened near Orlando, but the woman inside the car was from Homestead. Tonight, she is believed to be dead after authorities in Seminole County found a body inside a burned vehicle. Good evening, I'm Naja Sherman. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. CBS News Miami's Nakaya Carrero joins us live from the woman's home in Homestead with reaction from a neighbor. Nakaya? That's right, ladies. The sheriff's office in Seminole County says they're confident that that burnt out vehicle and the body they found inside is that of the homestead woman who lives in this home behind me. And since we arrived here to the neighborhood, we've seen people coming and going and all these cars parked in front. Well, one neighbor says this is a daily occurrence of all these cars parked in front of this home, but she doesn't know exactly who lives here because because it's kind of a mystery in the neighborhood. Constant cars coming and going and people in and out. You say hello to them and they just won't keep on going. And party, 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 a lot of parties and everybody's like, hey, can you chill with the music and stuff at one, two o'clock in the morning? And Cars filled the driveway and cul-de-sac that Catherine Atagracia Guerro de Aguavillas home sits in that woman who was last seen getting kidnapped in Central Florida. Seminole County Sheriff's Office says Catherine's husband informed them that she was traveling to Central Florida to visit family. Law enforcement says she called her husband who told her to keep driving instead of telling her to call 911. The Sheriff's Office is searching for the green Acura seen in the video now all over that the suspects were in as they were trying as they're trying to fill in the gaps of unanswered questions. There's a, a lot of unknowns, a lot of things that will leave people scratching your head, and I think the biggest is why. Because this wasn't just a random incident. They're ramming the car half a mile before that intersection. They get in the car. Uh, why, did, why, did, why did she and her husband not call 911? I don't know. Uh, why did she stop at the red light? I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of things that we'll absolutely uh, never know. But this is a tragically a tragic incident, nevertheless. Now, the sheriff's office says the body was damnly, uh, damaged severely, that they believe the reason they believe it is Catherine is because of the timeline of when that video was taken of the green Acura smashing into the car she was driving. And from the to the time that they actually received the 911 call of the vehicle being burned completely. In Homestead, Nakaya Carrero, CBS News, Miami.